nowadays short video creation has become one of the emerging trends due to that requirement a number of new apps are introduced specifically for this particular purpose and the existing advanced software is updated with object detection and face tracking features before moving any further let's see a few different reconstructed short videos using three different popular ways taking the same video as the reference think about it what video is the most interesting interactive and live closely look at them and think what are the plus and minus points of these videos following three videos are reconstructed using premiere pro one of the commonly used video editing software that offers face detection and object tracking features. We have recreated the reference video in three different ways. First, we try to track the whole body. As you can see in this video, there are several movements, but the tracking is not that much sensitive. Also, certain body parts of the dancer are cropped unnecessarily. In the second video, we track the upper part of the dancer. Then the sensitivity to the movements increased, but the movement of her legs is not present. Finally, we automatically detect the person and then manually adjust it frame by frame. Then the sensitivity is high, but transitions are not smooth. This video was reconstructed using CapCut, one of the most popular short video in the software. In this video, the sensitivity is high, but in some instances, the complete dancer cannot be seen. Finally, the person can be tracked when the video is captured. There are several video cameras and holders that can be tracked the person and capture them, but they are very expensive. Also, the cameraman can manually track the person, but fast movements with rapid and unexpected changes can be captured closely and easily. If the cameraman misses the shot, he will never be going to capture that shot again. It's gone forever. Our solution is human posture sensitive intelligent method for short video reconstruction. We avoided all the drawbacks and distractions mentioned above. In the solution we offer, we avoid all the unnecessary cropping. The algorithm is sensitive to any kind of movement of a person. Rapid movements can be smoothly recreated. And most importantly, according to the event, the significance given to each child of the person will be changed. As an example, if a person is a dancer, the face, palms and knees have higher priority than other joints. But for a basketball player, hands and toes are more relevant than the head. Let's see the algorithm. First, the video feed will be converted into a set of frames. In the first loop, each frame will be evaluated and calculate the maximum width and the height of the detected object contours. The output frame size will be defined according to the maximum height and the width. In the second loop, first, the gestures of each frame will be analyzed using media pipe framework. Then, the recognized frame will be compared with the previous frame. In each frame, the difference of the considered value corresponding to each joint of the person will be calculated. According to this equation, the weighted sum will be calculated. That value is the displacement of the center of the current frame relative to the center of the previous frame. Let's compare the results. As you can see, to reconstruct a video using our algorithm in an attractive, interactive and live manner, the only need is a clear footage of the scene. Thank you.